What's going on, football fans? It's time once again for another rendition of the Pound for Pound. I'm your host, J.R. Clark, and today we're talking about the playoffs. Uh, hey, they did it. They pulled it out. They beat the Carolina Panthers. We finished season 10-6, and six, and now we are L.A. bound, my friends. We're going to go take on the uh, L.A. Rams with, uh, you know, UGA native Todd Gurley and Jared Goff and company. Uh, also having to uh, face Aaron Donald on that defense and a Wade Phillips coach defense, which is always fun, always interesting. This is gonna be a it's gonna be an interesting matchup. I mean, this is a uh, you know we're going up against the number one offense this year. You know, as some of y'all like to point out and remember, we were the number one offense last year, but uh, we're also going up against an inexperienced head coach and a inexperienced quarterback. You know, this quarterback hasn't tasted playoff, you know, success yet or even playoffs in general. So, it's going to be interesting to see how that team reacts to the playoffs. You know, sometimes uh, a lot of a lot of guys like to say it's a whole different mentality. It's like a whole different new new season, you know, if you will. So, it's going to be uh it's going to be interesting. One thing that I'm encouraged by is that our team is shown this season to be a resilient team. We've won in, in you know, a handful of different ways as far as, you know, running the ball or passing it or hanging 30 or, you know, whatnot. But the biggest difference between this year's team and last year's team is our defense has actually won us a handful of games this year. And I think that is going to be important. I think that's going to be a potential recipe for success. Now, I had a feeling, you know, that if we made it in the playoffs that we wasn't going to stay long. So I'm still not necessarily predicting a, you know, deep run in the playoffs because this team is unfortunately, especially on offense, has just been too inconsistent with the penalties, with uh, things of that nature, you know, uh, the passes going through hands and into receivers and, you know, you got interceptions going off of defenders' butts, so it's just been an odd season. But you got to figure that stuff has got to turn eventually. You know what I'm saying? Like eventually, those drop passes have to turn into catches. You know, it's not like these guys don't know how to catch. They did it all last year. So this may be the time that it finally turns. And and I think, especially after rewatching that Carolina game. I really feel like even in the last few games, you know, Sark is getting a better feeling for what he's doing and getting a better feeling for, you know, who his guys are, what they're capable of. You know, in the Carolina game, you finally really started seeing him incorporate the uh, running backs into the passing game, which was a deadly thing last year. Kind of went away from it a little bit this year. So uh, it's been encouraging to see you know Sark finally get that working in so I mean yes we only scored one touchdown last week but Matt Ryan racked up what 317 yards or whatever no turnovers so these are encouraging signs um that one how much different would that game have looked last week had Sanu not ran into the back of Jones and bobbled that ball now you're talking about two touchdowns, the game that wasn't really close, really not close. You see what I'm saying? So I really don't think this team is that far off. And we've seen it before in the past with the Green Bay Packers and with the Steelers and even with the uh, Giants, you know, going in as a wild card team and, and taking it all the way to the Super Bowl. Again, I'm not saying that that's what we're going to do. I mean, as a, an extremely optimistic Falcons fan, that's what I you know, that's what I want to see. Obviously, that's what I that's what I hope to see. But uh but as far as the matchup against the Rams, I think it comes down to putting it on the arms and shoulders of Jared Goff. If we can, you know, shut down Gurley in the run game and and force him to make all the plays, I think we stand a better chance at winning. Okay? Uh, that that's the way I see it. That's the way I feel about it. Um, if if our run defense can step up, whether it be Tack McKinley or or uh, Upshaw or whoever, 
I feel like if our run defense can step up and bottle up, which has been playing a lot better these last couple weeks, I mean, we faced, you know, Alvin Kamara. I think he only ran for about 70 yards. Um, we limited Christian McCaffrey and that stable of running backs. I know they were Sands, Jonathan Stewart, but uh, they still had a pretty you know potent run attack, and we were able to, to stifle Carolina's run attack last year. Or not last year, last game. <coughs> so I think that's a a real good sign going forward. So I believe if we can bottle up uh, Todd Gurley, that we're going to have a way better chance of winning this game. Um, a guy I follow on Twitter that uh, does stuff for the Falcoholic, Alan Sturk, you know, he said it, you know, real well. I think that this team is, this is like one of the more unexpected playoff runs. Not unexpected in, I didn't say that right. More of a, um, you don't know what you're getting in a sense. Like last year, you knew that we were going to hang points on, on people. And, but one thing that nobody else is really talking about, we were giving up a lot of points last year too, you know. Uh, down the stretch, we were playing a lot better on defense, but during the year, you know, we we were apt to give up some points, so we had to get up on people, and we had to get up on them early. I don't think that's the case this year. I mean, I think our defense is, is taking that next step to keep us in games and potentially win games for us, and that's what a championship needs. I mean, that's what we were lacking in the Super Bowl. You know, that defense just broke down in the second half, and you know, allow the Patriots to come back. So I think the the resiliency of our defense this year is going to, you know, carry us in, in the playoffs if anything else does. So honestly, I'm going to go ahead and predict it. As an optimistic Falcons fan, I see us, you know, taking care of business out in L.A. And I see us potentially, you know, taking care of business in Philadelphia. You know, with Carson Wentz being down, that's not nearly as uh, tough of a task as it looked earlier this year. So it, it just, I think it just depends on who comes out of the uh, Saints, Carolina, and Minnesota. But I, I think if we can get past the Rams, we should end up in the NFC title game, which would be great, which would be amazing. But as far as, you know, everybody who wants to to poo-poo on this season and, and poo-poo on Sark. We're only one game difference than we were last year. So, you know, kind of keep that in mind. We were 11-5 and five last year. We were 10-6 and six this year. And we're doing it with a better defense. And as the old adage goes, offense gets the glory, but defense wins the game. So I'm really excited to see that our defense is, is starting to take that step forward. I mean, hell, we're, we're what, 10th in overall defense and 8th in overall offense so it's not like the offense has been bad they've just had you know either penalties or flubs at the worst possible times or the ghost type interceptions you know through the hands off the receiver whatever you know so I really feel like if if we can catch this groove right you know if we can get in that rhythm I really think we could take this all the way to the NFC championship game for sure but that's what I got for you this week. Ten and six, LA bound. You know, keep that keep that pumping going, keep that vibe going. Rise up.